Hello everybody, so today we're looking at how you can use Common Crawl as a source of crawled data for your machine learning or natural language processing project. Need billions of web pages? Don't bother crawling. <laughs> um, I just read this earlier. I'm often contacted by prospective clients to help them crawl the web on a very large scale or find questions such as this one on Stack Overflow. What people want to achieve with web data varies greatly from one case to the next. Some need to extract spe specific data from as many pages as possible. Some want to build search engines. Right, so luckily there are resources available for large scale web crawling, both on the platform side and software side. However, large scale crawling, think billions of pages, is costly and complex and time consuming. Yeah, I think we'd all agree with that. So, Common Crawl is a non profit organization, so if you use them and you've got plenty of money, then think about donating. Their data sets are used by various organizations, both in academia and industry, as can be seen on the examples page. Okay, so mention of 2016, Amazon pages are mainly HTML, there are a few PDFs. Uh, okay, what we will be doing shortly is looking at how we can use this with Python. So if you'd like to see that, I'm going to get to that very shortly. So um, commoncrawl.org, that's their site, that's the donate button. We build and maintain a repository of web crawl data that can be accessed and analyzed by anyone. We need years of free web page data to help change the world. <laughs> 40 languages as well, so not just English. Um, billions, trillions of links, seven years of data. Okay. So when I started reading, I came across this link, which was on skeptric.com, searching 100 billion web pages, pages with capture index. Um, I've looked at capture index, but uh, I'm going to cut to the chase. And down here is something called. Searching and fetching with Python and Comcrawl. The Comcrawl library makes it easy to search the index and download the data. So if you're not familiar with Comcrawl, um, they, they index with a number between 0 and 52. I'm not entirely sure if it represents the actual week of the year. It looks approximately like that. Anyway, what you do is you 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 do pip install with uh, yeah pip install common crawl. Um, you specify the index range. So um, yeah, need to find out about that actually. But if you don't specify the index range, it will just search for the whole the whole the whole thing. So seven years worth, I guess. <laughs> it means it will take longer. If you think it's going to take really long, then you can um, use threading as well. There you see they've used threads equals one. So what I've done is I've gone to the creator of this, his GitHub, pe um, his GitHub page, which is Michael Harms, comcrawl, pip install comcrawl. And I've done a couple of basic examples. Um, I don't know when this was last updated. Let's have a look. Um, hmm. uh, last hmm, 2020, maybe oh, just about a year ago. But anyway, this does not. This example code does not quite work. So um, that's not massively. Out, but I just thought I'd, I'd mention that just in case any of you are. Uh, Attempting to run it, so instead, what what I've done is um, I've just used um, get and then URL. Um, so we set the index between uh, index forty nine of twenty nineteen and index fifty one. Uh, we created a URL to crawl, which has got the asterisk, the wildcard on the end, so. Um, we're going to get all of that and then for each 
For every 200 response, we're just going to get the first eight, otherwise we could end up with <laughs> who knows how many thousands and it could just take forever. So for the sake of this exercise, we're just going to um, just going to run this and hopefully get the same results that I just got just now when I was testing it. So if you're ready, uh, so I'll run all. And that was nice and quick. So we've got eight, uh, eight links from Reddit. You can open any of these links as well. And the client object, so you, you access the, you access a dictionary via um, dot results, the client dot results, client. After you've done client.search, you then get client.results, and then that's what you can work with, and then you can extract the information you need using the dictionary key value pairs. Um, so yeah, it's all fairly straightforward. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you this because I don't know how often it's, it's okay to go back and get cached data or use that. Um, Obviously, it depends on what you're doing. If you're scraping real estate, then it's maybe not so useful for you because, um, for instance, real estate companies tend to um, just put sold on their adverts. And to be honest, I think these are probably only publicly accessible sites. Um, I don't know, but uh, what does it actually say? I'm sure they don't scrape. Let's have a look at the FAQs. Um, I'm sure it's all legal. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, that's it. Yep, it um it it only crawls sites which are allowed in robots.txt. Um, currently, we do honour the no follow attribute as it applies to links embedded on your site. Uh, what parts of robots txt does the bot support? We, uh, oh, actually, this might actually be pertaining to their site anyway. But um, now I read somewhere that it just honors robots.txt. So if you're trying to get something which is behind, um, you know, behind a paywall or um, restricted access with a login or whatever, then this won't actually be suitable for you. But um, I just thought I'd bring this to your attention and um, just sort of show an example and. Um, yeah, here they've used index nor and HTML. If you, you if you try that, that won't work. But um, yeah, just with a simple bit of uh, a simple adjustment, you will actually be able to extract links. I think that's probably the well. There's two things you'd want to do. You'd want to extract the links, and then you would want to um, go and get the links and extract the text from the links. Um, so yeah, I hope this has been interesting. If it's not, then I'm sorry, and I will try to do better next time. Um, so yeah, com crawl. Don't forget to um, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, um, all that. And in the meantime, I wish you a successful afternoon. Thank you.